In this video, we will learn how to find the foot of the perpendicular from a point to a line using vectors. Suppose we have a line L and a point P with position vector P that is not on L. L passes through the point A with position vector A and is parallel to the direction vector B. In other words, the equation of L is given by R equals A plus lambda B, where lambda is a real number. Now, draw a line passing through P and perpendicular to line L. The perpendicular line will intersect L at some point F. The point F is known as the foot of the perpendicular from point P to line L. How do we now find the position vector of point F? There are two methods for finding the foot of the perpendicular. In method 1, we will use the fact that the vector PF is perpendicular to the line L to form an equation with the dot product. In method 2, we will first find the vector projection of the vector AP onto the line L, then use vector addition to find OF. To demonstrate, we'll use both methods to find OF in the following example, where P has coordinates 2, 2, 4, and the line L has the following vector equation. For method 1, let us first take note of two points of information in this scenario. Firstly, since point F lies on the line L, its position vector can be written using the vector equation of L for some real value lambda. Secondly, since the vector PF is perpendicular to the line L, the dot product of PF and the direction vector of L would be equal to zero. Using these two facts, we can solve for the value of lambda and substitute it into the expression for OF to find the position vector. Let's see method 1 applied on this example. Firstly, write down the position vector of F using the equation of line L. Next, work out the vector PF using the vector subtraction OF minus OP. Since PF is perpendicular to line L, the dot product of PF and the direction vector of L is equal to 0. We can then substitute the vector PF into the equation and solve it to find the value of lambda. Finally, substitute the value of lambda into the expression for OF to arrive at the answer. In method 2, the key step relies on the fact that when vector AP is projected onto line L, we get the vector projection AF, which can be found using this formula. Once we've found AF, a simple addition of vectors will give us the position vector of F. Let's try this method with the same example. Firstly, we find the vector AP. It is worth noting that since A is a fixed point on the line L, we can obtain the position vector of A from the equation of line L. We can also find the unit vector of B at this point in time. Then, we apply the formula for finding the vector projection of AP onto L to find AF. Finally, we add vectors OA and AF to get the required answer. Summing up the two methods for finding the foot of the perpendicular from a point to a line. Method 1 relies on the fact that the vector PF is perpendicular to the line L, and so the dot product of PF and the direction vector B is 0. Method 2 uses the vector projection of AP on line L to find the vector AF, so that we can find OF by vector addition.